is intended to help uh, give an explanation about how to take documents that you've made in Google Drive and embed them into Veracross so that when you make one change in Google Drive on, on your assignments or homework, that that change is automatically reflected in Veracross where students can see it. So the way you do that is to select whichever document you want to embed and share with students. I am um, looking here at a sample template for a, a calendar, a cycle by cycle calendar that I'm using with students. This one, which I'm opening up here, is just totally blank. There's nothing in it. Uh, if you're interested in having a copy of this, I'd be happy to share it with you and you can copy it to your drive and fill it in as you like. Um, what I'm going to do now, the, the important thing to make this happen is to go to the file menu and to select publish to the web. Uh, this one is already being published just for the sake of illustration. I'll stop publishing it. This is what will come up initially. You'll click start publishing, say OK. And now the important part of this page is the embed code. So if you click once and then copy it, pressing command C, you can now close this window and go over to Veracross. Here's my teacher portal. I'm going to post this page to my AP Euro classes, so I'll just select AP Euro. Uh, from here, I go to the website tab along the top, and this is where I will post my page. I have three different sections, announcements, pages, discussions. I'll post this to the pages section. You can see I already have two pages posted here. Um, one is my weekly, my first uh, cycle schedule. Um, and then another is the rotation. So I'll just hover the cursor over the new, click new page. Um, I'll just call this sample cycle schedule. Create it. And now from here I can choose what different elements I want to add to the page. The only thing I'm going to select is the embedded media uh, option. And this is where I will now paste the code that I just copied from the Google Doc. If I click save here, just to, for the sake of illustration, it will post it, but you'll see it will post it uh, in a very tiny little format, which is a hassle for everyone to read. So I can edit the code now, and to make it more legible, between the word iframe and the uh, word source, SRC, I'm going to tell the frame how large I want it to be. So I'm going to set the width to be 700 pixels and the height to also be 700 pixels. Um, and now when I click Save, you'll see that the frame size is much larger and more legible. In this view, it's spilling off the side of this frame, but I'm going to go ahead and publish it um, publish it to both of my classes and now you'll see that when I view the class website and get a sense of what the students see that it is much more legible. Uh, oh, here it is, all the pages line up here under this line um, as you add them throughout the course of the trimester so I'll click sample cycle schedule and there it is uh, this frame here is uh, about 700 pixels so the 700 measurement works well and you can set the height to whatever you like so that the students can see at a glance what your assignments are, what's going on in class, if that's what you choose to post. And of course, within the Google Doc, you can put links and anything else you want um, to direct students to other uh, resources that you want to share with them. So I hope that this has clarified that process of moving a Google Doc over to Veracross so that when you make changes in the Google Doc, they're automatically reflected in Veracross. If you have any questions or need any help with this process, uh, please let me know and I'd be happy to help. Thanks.